Hi guys, Wilberfast here with another game development montage. This one was from a recent game jam that we organized with our association, Baptism du Jeu, Baptism of Game, which was based entirely around multiplayer games. It's also the Mini Ludum Dare 7 day RTS competition at the moment, so I decided to make a real time strategy game. I'm a fan of real time strategy games, though what I don't like about them is quite often in a competitive context you get eliminated quite quickly if you're not as good as the other players and then spend the rest of the game waiting for everyone else to finish. So I wanted to make a game that would be approachable, easy for anyone to pick up and play and yet still definitely a strategy game. I also wanted it to be playable by multiple people on the same machine and this was just a logistics constraint because we were going to be presenting these games at a bar afterwards. We would only have a certain number of machines and so on. So, multiple players, one screen, using a keyboard or game pads. So I came up with this idea of having the player's avatar and cursor sort of be the same thing. So the player's avatar is this sort of floating squid type thing which lays eggs. It can't be attacked, it can move around freely, there's a sort of nice fluid movement which makes it fun just to manipulate around space. And there's only one button as well. I like to try and limit the number of buttons if at all possible. This button is used to drop off eggs to pick them back up again. It's also held down to open up a radial menu from which you can select which evolution an egg is going to become. I didn't want there to be any resources in the player's pocket, so to speak. I wanted all resources to be on the map, accessible to everyone. This again is part of the idea of no one is eliminated, no one ends up in a situation where there's nothing they can do until the very end of the game when they lose. So the resources are on the map and everyone can access them until one player converts the area, in which case all others are banned from using that. And resources are collected by your eggs that you put down. So the more fertile an area is, the faster eggs can grow. And when an egg is fully grown, it can then be morphed into another unit, which can be used to protect the area and attack adjacent enemies. Specifically, there are knights, which will automatically attack all adjacent enemy units, fountains, which convert the surrounding area, meaning that not only does it grow back more quickly, but also enemies cannot place their units on this area, so only you can grow your eggs on top of it. Remember that the goal of the game is to convert 50% of the map tiles. There are also bombs, which can be used to momentarily stun knights. This gives you the time to place your own knights next to them to attack them. The mature units can also be recycled back into eggs to be displaced, though this takes a certain amount of time and energy. The artwork was done by a friend of mine who was at the jam as well called Bart Frey, or Nirlem. And the music track, which you can hear in the background, was done by the DJ Dot from Squares Records. I took care of the code, which was written in Lua, Love2D. It's freely available on GitHub under LGPL, though I should warn you that if you're used to my code from a few years ago, I've gotten gradually more messy, or rather I'm no longer so pedantic about being clean. I think it's important, especially for game jams, to try and be efficient, get things done, not worry about getting them done in the best possible way. And one of the major mistakes to make is to use a framework that you're building yourself. You want jam code to be completely disposable. So as a result, use at your own risk. It's not necessarily the most stable or extensible code, but it may be interesting for some of you wanting to know how a game can be made in Love2D. That's all for now. Thank you very much for listening. Recently, because of my internship and organizing game jams and so on, I haven't had quite as much time on my hands. But uh, now that I've gotten a bit more used to the workload, I'll try and be a bit better about posting. Till then, this has been another video montage by Worldfast. I'll see you guys next time.